Hey lovely people, welcome back to my YouTube channel and to my latest video on what my baby eats in a day. He is 11 months old and I'm gonna show you what he eats in a normal day. Mom, what if the wind could spread your love? So it all starts at around 6 a.m. when he has his morning milk. One, there be no he has six ounces of milk in his bottle and that will be the same for every bottle that he has throughout the day. So whenever you see me make a bottle, it will be six ounces. Will whisper the word. Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope. always finishes his morning bottle and then at about 7 a.m. an hour later I make his breakfast so this morning I am making some French toast fingers um, sometimes I just make normal toast but today it's a Friday and I know Leo likes this as well so I'm just making some simple French toast with just a ripe banana an egg a little bit of milk mixed together with some cinnamon I can't help but so here's the first bit of honesty in this video. When it comes to finger food, my baby is just not that interested. I always offer it with every meal, but I have a 50-50 chance that he will actually eat it. Obviously, I've got an older child as well, so I'm cooking for him, and I will just cook a little bit extra for Cooper, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, he's just not that into finger foods, to be honest with you. He also always has a big bowl of the Heinz baby porridge, which he loves. As you can see, he always polishes off the entire bowl of porridge. So I know that he's full and that he's had a really good filling meal. And then the finger food really is just for exploring and learning. Like I said, it's very likely it will end up on the floor, but I still continue to offer it. So here it is. He'll explore it a little bit, play with it a little bit, and most likely we'll chuck it on the floor. There you go. We're actually going to be away from home at lunchtime today, so I'm just going to show you how I prepare for lunch on the go. I have got an Ella's Kitchen pouch, and I have got the Tommy Tippy food and bottle warmer, and also some Ella's Kitchen snacks, which are packaged as well. So I just put some boiling water into the thermos, and then I put the lid over the top, and I'm also going to pack, obviously, a bowl and a spoon and a bib that can be folded down really small. And this is what lunch looks like if we are going to be out and about. So he has his lunch at around 12 p.m. As I said, we are away from home. So I pour the boiling water into the Tommy Tippy bottle and food warmer. And then I pop the pouch inside and I give it about five minutes to warm up nicely. Once it's ready, I will just pour the warm puree into a bowl. And I've got our lovely portable high chair from My Little Coco. So clever this, you can just set it up anywhere. And yeah, he finished the tomato pasta, polished off the entire bowl. So I knew he was nice and full up. Then I gave him some finger foods to play with, which are the Ella's Kitchen Melty Sticks, and he finished those as well. He obviously enjoyed those. Face to face in this trashy bar Another glass and I am going places makes me laugh so now it's 3.30 p.m. and he has his afternoon milk. This will happen after the school run, so it's always at about half three, but I'm actually not at home right now. I'm in the barber shop because Leo is getting his hair cut, so I just put the bottle in a bottle warmer and took it with us. So he has his dinner anywhere between sort of half four and 5 p.m. I'm just gonna quickly prepare some finger foods. I'm just chopping up some chunky sweet potato chunks and I'm gonna pop them in the microwave to make them really, really super soft. Once they are out, I'm gonna take off all of the skin and make sure that they're as soft and easy to eat as possible, if he eats them, that is. And like I said, he really has his days where he loves finger foods and days where he doesn't. As for puree, we have got a chicken and noodle puree this evening. He loves chicken ones and vegetable ones. They seem to be his favorite sort of flavors. So we've got cucumber as well, because he does love cucumber most of the time. So we've got sweet potato and cucumber fingers, and then we've got the chicken noodle puree. For pudding, I have got a little watermelon fan, which sometimes he loves watermelon and eats the whole thing, and sometimes he isn't bothered. And I have a little petit filou as well. 
So I've got lots of sustenance here because I know he'll finish the puree and I know he'll finish the yogurt. So I know he'll be nice and full for bedtime. And then we've got the finger foods for exploring as well. And if he doesn't eat them, it really doesn't matter. As I said, I'll just continue to keep offering it and just make sure that he just has all the opportunities to get used to it. Another drink and I'll go anywhere the way you smile like a flash in the universe. As I predicted, he loved the puree and polish off the whole bowl, which I knew he would. We actually had my family pop round this evening, so he was a little bit distracted. Um, I gave him the finger food and he ate all of the cucumber. He really loves cucumber at the moment. He wasn't too bothered about the sweet potato, but that's okay. You got my attention. So you were saying Once he was bored with the thing of food, I gave him the Petit Filou, which he always loves, finishes the pot of yogurt every time. I'm sure everything makes total sense when you're next to and then I offered him the watermelon fan, which he had a few bites of and seemed to be enjoying. And then, to be honest, he just got bored really quickly. As I said, my family were around. He just wanted to see what was going on, really. So he just sort of pushed it around a bit. And I just made the decision that he was bored and he'd had enough and that I was going to call it a day. So then at 6 p.m. he has his bedtime milk. He's had his bath, his bedtime routine is coming to an end and he has another six ounce bottle of milk and this sort of signals the end of the day for him. He goes super sleepy after his bedtime milk because he knows that bedtime is coming. But thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video.